Good morning. We are going to get started. How are you guys? I am in between energy is what I like to say when I'm not like super tired, but not super energetic. I'm in between right now. <laughs> um, we are going to do a network and connection power hour this morning. Um, it's going to be really light, really easy. Hopefully it'll just be kind of like a breeze. And by the end, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I got so much done and I'm not stressed and it's not heavy and it's just great. That's my goal. So hopefully that is what we will achieve. Um, I shared the tracker that we're going to do in the chat, but I'll share it on my screen and I'll share it at the end as well, just so you guys have it if you want it. Um, so we're going to get going. So again, this one is kind of a no brainer. If you've been on my power hours before, there's nothing really that new. This is really just, um, it's kind of like going to yoga and either, and going to a yoga class. That's like hot yoga or core yoga or strength yoga. This is flow. This is like a flow class for your power hour. So hopefully we will achieve that. Okay. So what I like to do before this power hour and what I've been trying to practice a lot um, the last month and a half or so is manifestation meditation. Have any of you guys done that? So this is like a little pre, a little pre-work that I do before my power hour. I take five minutes and I do like a, a meditation, but it's specifically for manifesting for like your vision, your goals, your dream. So I want you guys, when you get off this call to Google that. And there's a bunch of different ones. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it and just kind of figure out which one you like the best. And then maybe start trying to practice that before you go into work mode and just see if it helps you stay more focused, have more energy, like be more direct, be more confident in what you're trying to actually do. So that's kind of like a pre-work. Um, at the end of this power hour, I have a little post work, which is always after you do these kind of power hours with networking and connecting the rest of the day is really just following up. It's really just, um, working on the leads that this stuff kind of creates the people and the relationships and the networking and all the new activity that it brings to your business and to your circle every day, your new audience, the rest of your day is really just kind of managing the follow-up of anything that comes from doing this. So that's kind of the post work. So we're going to do all the work in between. Um, I always start with kind of like your first post of the day, because I, network primarily on Instagram. Um, it was Facebook for the first five years of my business, Instagram for the second five years of my business. And now it's just sort of like, uh, wherever I naturally want to kind of flow. So you can do these things on either platform, but it's really designed for Instagram. So, um, I'm going to give us a good 10 minutes because I want your first post to be thought out. It doesn't have to be long. It can still be quick. If you've already posted today, then you can work on scheduling a post. So create another one and then schedule it. Okay. So I'm going to, we're going to do that for 10 minutes and then we'll move on to the rest of the power hour. Sorry. I don't know why that popped up. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle our music our chill vibes, and we'll get going on this first post and then move to the next one. If this music is too loud, just yell at me in the chat that it's distracting because I don't want a distraction.
a couple more minutes and then post in the chat when you when you're done and maybe even post the topic that you chose for this morning for those of us that are needing a little inspiration <laughs> Okay, who got through their posts? I wrote about my weight loss journey and asking if they can relate, love that. Still need a strong call to, fin call to action to finish it off. Taylor said, it'll take me a minute after the call, but I've been using video leave to draft a quick hyperlapse of my workouts for the day and making a reel. Love that. Google fitness quotes. Love that. Um, just as a, as a little side note before we move on, cause these next, next activities are just like one minute, just to throw this out there. You can sound this off in the chat if you want to, um, with the new technology and AI coming out, this is what I posted about. How do you think that that is going to affect the health and wellness industry? If any of you guys have played around with it, it's pretty terrifying, but pretty exciting at the same time. Okay, so once you've done your post, what I want you to do, and if you if you don't want it or don't have the ability to share this post because you didn't finish it or whatever, you can keep finishing it or um, you can choose a different post in your feed to share to your stories. I want you to either pick one of your top performing posts or the post that you just made and share it to your stories. Okay. So it should take 30 seconds. If you don't know how to do it, it's pretty simple. You just go to the post, you hit that little airplane flag. You go down to the bottom where it says suggested add to story super simple and post it, share it. Okay, and post in the chat when you're done with that. Should take 30 seconds. 
Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, once it's shared, I'm just gonna take you guys through this flow on how I do it every day. So it should be pretty quick. Networking is not something I spend an exorbitant amount of time thinking about or doing. I just do it and get it done. And for those of you guys that are new to social media or trying to learn Instagram, a lot of people go on there and they are posting their own content. They're promoting their own content. They're active on their own pages, but the mistake that they're making is not being engaging anywhere else. They're not going out and engaging and using all of the different features in the algorithm, um, which is what Instagram wants, right? They want you on the app longer and they want you using the tools. So that's really what this networking is about. It's about keeping us on the app, using all of the tools so that you'll be favored and your content will be seen. And Instagram will be like, oh, this person's active. And the more you do this and the more active you are every day using the different features, um, the better. So once you've shared it to your stories, then what I want to do is just add an opportunity for people to engage. So once um, your story's in, what I want you to do is pull up a blank, like pull up your stories. Um, for those of you that don't know this trick, I'm just going to tell you really quick. If you literally just take a picture of anything, it can be anything, it doesn't matter what it is. And then you go to the three little dots at the top of the page and you hit draw. You can pick a color that matches the palette of your Instagram or your brand or whatever color you like for the day. Um, and if you linger your finger over that color, it actually pulls up a full color wheel. I don't know if all of you guys know that trick. So you can customize whatever color you want it to be, which is pretty cool. Um, so just pick a color. And then you just hold on. So I just took a picture of my face. Oh, you can't see it because it's blurred out. I don't know why it's doing that, by the way. Whatever. Um, you just hold on to, you just put your finger down on it and hold on to it and it will turn the whole page that color. Super, super simple, but it just creates like a blank page. So what I want you to do on this is just create some kind of engaging an opportunity for people to engage with you. You can ask them a question, you can take a poll, you can add a sticker, you can make the question relevant to the post you just shared. You can ask them something super basic like, what's on your workout schedule today? What is your main focus in nutrition right now? Like you can keep it really on point and within your niche. So just ask some kind of engaging question and use one of the stickers for them to be able to engage with because it's still true that while like stories are down, it still captures a different audience than the ones going to your feed. So it's important to still kind of use both areas. Okay, so write a little, I'm just gonna ask a question. I'm just gonna say, how do you feel, how do you think AI will affect the health and wellness industry? Because that's what I just posted about. And then I just left it in a question. So literally it just looks like, why is it blurry like that? Just like a question, that's it, super simple. It's just about getting these features going for the day, okay? Okay. Oh, thanks Kate, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it's good though, I don't like the background. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so once you've added an engaging, an engagement opportunity, we're gonna do two really quick like challenges. One, if you've been on my power hours before, you already know, super simple. The other one is more targeted, which I haven't done with you guys before, which I'm gonna teach you. Um, it's really simple. So you go to your feed. So you click the little house on your Instagram that pulls up all the people's content that you're following, right? And we're just gonna like as many pictures as we can in one minute. Again, this is about you being social and using the tools that you want people to use and engage with on your Instagram. Okay, this is also really great. This exercise, just so you guys know the history of it, came from when we used to follow and unfollow. Is anybody old enough 
in social media to know what that even is. Okay. <laughs> so in like, I don't even know what year there was like this follow and follow fad where we'd like follow a hundred people and then unfollow them an hour later and then follow another hundred people. And honestly, you guys, like to this day, that still works. I don't care what people say. It's still, it still works. What it doesn't do is build the right audience. And that's why we stopped doing it. That's why it's now icky and not whatever. So this is where that exercise came from because we would do this follow exercise of a hundred people or whatever. And then our feed would be full of the, these new people that we just networked with content. So the likes would actually be on all these new people's content. But what I'm finding is when we do this with our own followers, our current followers, old, new, whatever, it kind of confuses Instagram because they like to feed you content that, um, that you engage with. So the more that you're engaging with, that's really targeted in your niche, that's targeted to the people that you're following, the more you're going to get fed that stuff on Instagram. This is also a really great exercise to realize, oh my gosh, nothing in my feed is related to my niche, what I'm trying to do here, who I want to help. And it gives you a really eye-opening daily view of how to clean and keep your account really relevant. Okay, so that's a long backstory for a <laughs> short exercise. So I'm gonna give you one minute. I want you to like as many pictures as you can in that one minute. We're gonna write down how many you got and then we're gonna go to the next one. So go. Okay, stop. How many did you get? I got 52. I used to be so good at this, but then they started having videos like every other post and those take longer and it's annoying. Nice. 35, 25, 35. Nice guys. 54 Ashley if for the win. Okay. So this next one, it's the same exact exercise. Okay, but this is a more targeted way of doing this. This is a way to network with this activity. Every single person, just so you guys know, it's content that you like. It just sent them a notification that you liked their photo. So that just gave them access directly to seeing your name today already, um, seeing that you're supporting them, right? Like if it's what we're going to do now is do that on new people's content that have never, that aren't following you. Right. And so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to send them a notification, show them that you're there. Again, this is purely networking. This is you putting out your digital business card every single day and you going out and finding people to help. That's what this is. That's what networking is. So for any, for you guys that are like, I don't have a list. I don't have like a hundred people to like reach out to and follow up with. This is how you start to build that. This is how you start to cultivate opportunity to connect on social media. This is the very first step. Okay. So what we're going to do, go to your little magnifying glass. And what I want you guys to do is search a keyword that either fits within your niche. It's a hashtag. You're going to, you're looking for a hashtag that is relevant to you. So like for me last night, when I was doing this exercise, I'm like, oh man, am I already like in the fit over 40 freak, but I am. So I was like, I'm just going to go and look and see who's in this area. Who's posting about this, who hashtagged fit over 40. And that's what I used. And I did this exercise. So write your hashtag that you're going to follow this exercise with in the chat. Um, 
just think of something. It can be anything, you guys. You can do anything that's relevant to you. Yeah, dancer mom, love it. Boy mom, love it. Fit over 50, love it. Goddess energy, love it. Perfect. Okay, so go to your hashtag. Um, and what I want you to do is just hit the search button and you're gonna click on accounts. So at the very top under the search, it'll say for you. And then it says accounts, reels, audio tags. Okay. Um, what's cool about this, you guys, is if you go to the tags, it'll give you a thousand other hashtags that are being used along with the one that you just searched for. So if you need more ideas to kind of branch that out, if you're still using hashtags a little bit here and there, which we all should be, um, that's a great way to get ideas. Okay. Um, so the for you tab is really where we're going to focus because that shows a ton of people who have hashtagged in that category. We're going to do the same exact exercise for one minute. And I want you to like the content that stands out to you and the people that stand out to you in this area. Okay. In that hashtag. Does that make sense? Is anybody lost? Super simple. Um, Okay, so we're gonna go to the For You page. I'm doing Fit Over 40, I'm gonna do that again. Pull up pictures and like, okay, we're gonna go. Just see how many you can do. Takes a little longer because you have to pull them up independently, but it also helps you decipher and determine whose content you're gonna like. And you're also gonna find pages that you now want to follow here. This is a great way to discover people that motivate you. Okay, while you guys are doing that, and then it's, you have 30 more seconds, I'm just gonna explain it again. So all you're doing is networking on a hashtag that is relevant to you, super simple. So you just search up a hashtag, pull it up. It'll pull up a ton of, so let's just say like vegan, okay? If you type in the word vegan in the search tab, a ton of posts like this just come up. These are all the people that have hashtagged that specific keyword. So all you're doing is going through this section and looking at photos that stand out to you or people that stand out to you and liking that specific photo, going out of it and finding another one. Super simple. This is just networking at its finest. Generally with this, I get like 10 or 15 likes in compared to the 50 plus that I get just from my feed. This teaches you to kind of slow down and learn how to be a little more methodical in who you're reaching out to. But every like that you give sends a notification to that person's notifications and allows for opportunity for you to be seen. Okay. How many likes did you guys get in? This is going to be a way lower number. If it's your first time doing this, it could be one or two. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally normal. 30. That's awesome. Okay. This one is honestly, you guys, this one is a really great way to branch your audience out and to not feel like you're talking to the same people every single day. This is really going to over time, especially if you do this for a week, really start to build your audience. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do really quick is go into your heart and check your own notifications.
Jen, just so you guys know, it doesn't really, right now, it doesn't really matter if there are other influencers. Like, I want you to kind of let go of those biases. Like, it's really good to actually network with other influencers. It's good for you to find influencers that motivate you every day, that give you ideas every day. This isn't an exercise of like, I, I hate the mentality of, oh my gosh, they're another influencer, so I'm not going to support them. You have to get in the habit of supporting whatever content or whatever people, right, are A, maybe trying to do the same thing you are, B, have something to offer that you don't yet, right? And just really learning how to network because you never know if that influencer is looking for someone to befriend on social media. That influencer could one day repost something that you posted because good influencers, you guys are always looking for inspiration. They're always looking for people that motivate them and get them out of that boredom cycle of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And you might be that person for them, but how would they ever know that if they never know you exist? This is letting them know that you exist. It's all about how you look at social networking. Everyone is valuable. Everyone, if you can just learn where that value point for those people are in your business, in your life, whatever, like just collect people. That's what I like to think about when I'm doing these exercises. I'm just collecting people that are valuable to me. Okay. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do really quick, we're going to go to our heartbeat, the heartbeat of our social media, which is the actual heart at the top right of the page. It's where all your notifications are. We're just going to take a second. And what I want you to do is respond to any new comments that you've gotten over the last, over the night, right? This is also a really good place to just like any of the comments that got made to you. And for you to just notice who is engaging with your profile. So we're just going to take one or two minutes and do this. And then we'll move forward. You're just trying to like any of the comments that you haven't liked yet. What's good about this, you guys, is if you missed a comment from yesterday or a few days ago that you didn't like, once you like the comment, even though it was maybe a comment on a post you did a few days ago, it'll send them a notification today that you liked their comment. And it just puts your face back in their feed, which is the whole point of networking. Okay, this is another one of my favorite exercises. These next two are the ones I probably spend the most time with, or not even that. These are the two that I prioritize every day because this is what I'm finding. It's helping me get new followers, like actual people who connect with me and I connect with them. This is the activity that's actually creating opportunity for connection. Okay, so what I do, I want you guys to pull up like your favorite mentor account, like your, a big account that you follow that like inspires you, that motivates you, that gets you going every day. One that you go to for your own personal gain. And I want you to write that account, write it down in your Instagram. What's cool about this is I don't try to keep this super industry specific. I think it's really helpful if you do, but it's okay if you don't, because you're going to an interest page 
that you personally are interested in. So all the people that are also following that page are going there specifically because they have the same interests. It's an instant connection with whoever is following that page. Okay, that's the point. So what is one of those accounts that you follow? Do you have any? It can be like literally anything. What is one of what is an account that you follow for inspiration? Okay, I want you to pull it up. I'm just gonna use the same one I use in this exercise when I do power hours all the time, which is mindset therapy. If you don't have one, you're doing social media wrong. <laughs> so Christy, your goal right now for this next two minutes is to find a motivational account for yourself. Whether that's a mentor like Mel Robbins, Brené Brown, awesome. There's so many, you guys. There's so many. It's really just, you can even type in like vegan eating. And then I don't know why I keep using vegan as an example. I think it's just because it's very niche. Um, and then pull up all the accounts and see who the top influencers are in that category and start following those pages. Okay. So find a big account. The point of this is, is you're going to go to this big account that you follow every day for motivation that inspires you, that motivates you. And you're going to find one of the pieces of their content. So go to their homepage, find a piece of content that they've posted that speaks to you. It can be a quote. It can be a topic. It can be a product. It doesn't matter. I want you to pull up that specific post. I want you to look at how many comments there are on it. On mindset therapy, there's always over a hundred comments, 200 comments, 300 comments on every single post. That's why that's the kind of page you're looking for. One that has a lot of engagement. And what you're going to do, what I want you to do is focus for the next one minute, same exercise that we just did. And I want you to go into the comment section on one of those posts. And I want you to like any comment that speaks to you, that you agree with, that you're like, yes, just like it. Super simple. This is sending that person a notification that you just liked what they said. You just liked their opinion. Can I tell you guys that that kind of connective tissue is really strong? They're going to immediately be like, oh, this person liked what I think not what I look like, what I think, right? So that's why we're doing this. So I'm gonna give you one minute. I want you to try and get, don't go over like 10 or 15 because it'll lock you out. It'll think you're spamming the comments. So just focus on five to 10 comments to go in and like. Okay. Obviously you're going to skip like any negative comments. Obviously you only want to engage. This is important with people who you really like agree with. The coolest part about this, at least for me, is this is where I get to see like, especially on accounts that are really motivating or mentors. They're all people going there for inspiration. They're going there for motivation. They're going there for help. So when you go into the comment section, not only are you finding people who are also active on social media, but they're actively engaged in their interests, which is a shared interest of yours, which is an immediate piece of content that you can connect on. It's so simple, but when you like someone's comment over liking someone's photo, it's different. It's different because you're acknowledging a piece of them that is deeper than just what you see, right? And so 
when somebody sees a notification of somebody they don't know that liked a comment of theirs on a page that they go to to grow, they're going to be curious about that. And they're going to be like, who is this person? And they're going to go to your page. And if you also are someone who is trying to help people, who's inspiring, who posts engaging content or has shared interests, then they will want to connect with you naturally and start following you. So while this exercise seems really lame and it's like so simple, it's stupid, it's extremely effective and powerful. And then the level up from this is the next exercise that we're going to do. So I want you to stay in that same comment section. And what I want you to do is look for opportunities to either coach out loud, support someone, or encourage someone and comment on people's comments who need that. This is like 10xing that like. You're just trying to now really create a connection. This is going into connection exercise instead of just networking. So I want you to focus on three, maybe three comments to respond to. Don't respond if you don't like, and don't respond to like the most generic ones. Try to respond to people who gave like legitimate feedback, shared a story in the comment about it, like asked a genuine question. You guys know, you'll see. You'll see, look for a coaching opportunity. I'm gonna give you a few minutes and we're gonna go through that activity. Are you guys seeing opportunity to connect with people in these comments? Do you guys want to know the craziest thing? Like, even if you go to like, let's just say Lululemon or Fit Fab Fun or like an actual product that you love, like it's fascinating how connective liking the same product is, shopping in the same place. It's eating the same kind of food as someone else. Like, will it ever be boring? when you find someone who's interested in the same thing as you? Never. Will it ever not be interesting talking to someone who's as enthusiastic about the same things you are? Never. Guys, this is like the connective tissue, right? Like speaking of AI this morning, there is this huge fear looming of this idea that reality is gonna become unrecognizable, right? The only thing that we have that makes us human is our innate nature to help other people and to grow. That's what makes us human. So when you're on social media and you're like trying to face some of these advances and adapt to this changing technological world, right? Like nothing can replace that real true human connection ever. I don't care what machine they create. They can mimic it. They can imitate it. They can pretend they can't do it the way that you can. There's no emotion that comes behind the connection. And connection is all about emotion. And that's why people struggle with it or they thrive in it because human emotion is what makes us human, right? So this is where connection was always really hard for me is I, this is an area of personal development that a lot of people don't realize that they need. 
but you can learn how to do and connect and talk to people better. You can learn how to not have fear in these areas at all. This, these two exercises, commenting on strangers posts, liking and supporting people we don't know just for free, just because, just because we can, this is the stuff that will grow you as a leader and grow you as a partner more than anything else. This is you practicing, giving for free, helping people, connecting with people, talking to people, right? Without any judgment, without any barrier. So th these two things are so key and so powerful and so important. And if you exercise them every day, especially if this is an area that you struggle I don't know what to say to people. I don't know how to bring stuff up. This is where you practice. This is where you get ideas. This is where you learn how to do that. This is where you can see other people supporting people and how they do that. It's awesome. This is like a multifaceted exercise and one of the most effective ones for me personally on social media. Okay, this next one. We're going to engage five new accounts and engage five old accounts. This is important um, just to keep your own socializing with your current following relevant and important. This keeps your personal audience engaged. So what I want you to do is just go to your homepage. You're gonna click on your followers. Doesn't matter how many you have, as long as you have two. One's new and one's old, right? You can do this exercise. Um, and what I want you to do is, hold on. I want you to look for, oh, I guess that's who you're following. I was gonna say, you can kind of see who has been following you for a long time and who has not. Let me just look. I might have, I might not have that feature anymore. So what you're trying, what we're trying to do here is engage with, five new people's accounts and engage with five people who have been following us for a really long time that we haven't engaged with in a while. And all you're going to do is go to their page and like a couple of their photos or leave a comment. You're just literally trying to engage, watch their story, whatever it is. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give us three or four minutes. I want you to spend a little time with the people who are following you and I want you to pick out a few people and go and engage with their profile. Help them feel seen, help them feel heard, let them know that you know that they're there. Super simple, okay? And then we'll go to the next one. Right, least interacted with. That's the wording I was looking for. Thank you, Mary. The least interacted with is actually under people that you are following. And I want you to focus on people who are following you. So follow people back, go to their pages, like their stuff, super simple.
Okay. Super simple. Again, you're not spending exorbitant amount of times in these areas because most of your day, you guys, if you start with your day with this, then the rest of the day, you're creating activity for yourself to talk to new people, get new connections, whatever. But the rest of the day is really spent coaching, right? Working on your actual invites, which now you've kind of created opportunity for, um, and giving feedback, coaching people, right? Like that's the main thing. So networking and sort of this connection piece of it, if you work on it for 30 minutes to an hour a day, it'll really start to build up your list and give you people to follow up with. Okay. So we're going to move into, um, just a couple other connective pieces to your coaching journey. Um, one of them is checking in with your challenge group, right? If you're on the bot app or whether you're on Facebook, it doesn't really matter. What I really like to do is start the day with an engaging topic or question. Um, today, I'm gonna keep it really simple and I'm gonna have you guys all ask the same question in your challenge group. And that is, um, I want you to ask your challengers and your customers what they need right now, what they need the most right now support-wise. Where do you need the most support in your journey at the moment? That's the question. In this season of life, where do you feel like you need the most support? Or how do you feel like you need to be supported? It can be super simple, but I want you to gauge and understand what the people that you're coaching need from you. Because when you know what they need from you, you don't have to guess, right? And your work and the way that you coach them becomes very simple and a lot easier. Okay, so go in and post that question into your challenge group, or you can take a poll too if you want. And then I like to tag everyone on that morning, on that good morning post. If you're just using the bot app, it's a little different, but. Okay, once you've asked that question, this is starting engagement and starting opportunity for connection, right? Every day in your challenge group. You can do the same thing on Facebook. Facebook loves questions. So you can go to your Facebook profile um, and ask a question as well. It's just another way to get your social media awake for the day and up and going and give you people to interact with every day. Um, for the sake of time, we're gonna do what I really wanted to focus on with your challenge groups and just sharing how to do this in a connective way. Obviously, like you wanna focus on quality feedback for your challengers. My challenge for you guys, since we don't really have time to practice this today, is to give eight to 10 word responses. It gets really easy to be like, good job, great job. You're doing awesome, amazing. I'm so proud of you. It's so easy to do that. That's lazy coaching. And sometimes you guys, that's all we have. I'm, I am a lazy coach I 40% of the time, right? Because we have so much going on. There's something wrong with that. However, there also has to be some kind of quality attached when you are really trying to grow and build and push your business forward, the quality counts for everything. So when you're really trying to focus on connection and you're really trying to focus on growth, eight to 10 word responses, no matter what. And I'm telling you guys, this will also grow your skill, coaching people, talking to people, like adding substance, finding solutions. Like when you are, when you put yourself in a position where you're like, I have to have a two sentence or three sentence response. It's fascinating how much you have to think about that. And that's important. It slows you down in a way that is so good for you. Okay. So while I'm saying lazy coaching and I say lazy because I love 
being able to be a lazy coach and still earn income and still help people and still support people and still live my life. I don't want this to take over my entire life. I want it to be a part of my life, not my whole life, right? So there's a time and place for everything. I teach my kids that all the time. Time and place, time and place. Don't ever say that to me again. That's so weird. Don't talk to me about those things, right? Like it's just, it's just learning how to do that with your business. So quality feedback. One thing I will encourage you to do if you're not doing it, when you do your follow-ups, when you're giving feedback, use the voice messaging features. Do any of you guys not do any voice messaging or video responses at all? Raise your hand. I never do video response. I think that's so weird. It's inauthentic for me personally, so I don't do that. Voice texting, I will do. It's way faster, saves a ton of time, builds trust faster. It builds personality. It builds connection faster, right? Um, I don't send a lot of like PDFs and copy and paste. I have a very personal touch with my challengers and my coaches. I will not send like copied information like that almost ever when it comes to a brand new person, just because that connection is important to me. So I build that trust in that relationship. It's kind of like, um, it's like my favorite part of our job. So why would I automate that part? Right? Like automate the stuff you hate doing <laughs> like, and do do the things that you love doing in person. That would be my advice. So when it comes to connection and really trying to build that in your business, like identify those areas, like what part of this do you love doing with people? What's, what's your joy point? Is it when they say yes? Is it when they first purchase? Is it when they post their first workout? Is it, you know, the nonchalant days when they don't expect a message from you and you're, you're able to just send them like, some support and encouragement and it changes their whole day. Like figure out what those personal touches and pieces are and, inf and influx those more into your daily routine. It will help you feel and stay more connected and focused. I promise. Okay. Um, and we can check in with our partners the same way. Voice message. Hey, good morning. I don't know what's on your plate today, but I just wanted you to know I'm here. If you need anything, let me know. Super simple, right? But if you do that with all your high potential partners, it will make a huge world of difference. Okay. Um, so we're going to end there because it's almost time to go. And I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of time to answer your questions. So one thing that I've discovered um, that I haven't done well this year in my power hours is I love doing the same format, but then giving an, an example on how to say something specifically, like how I'll give you an example. I'm just going to show you because I have one right here for some reason. I don't know why just it's fate. Um, I love giving power hours that are like this, where they have, this is my ultimate reach power hour. And it's awesome. This, it teaches you how to reach out to new people, like what to actually say. So new followers, hey, and then this is an example of exactly what I say to these people, to new followers, to recent followers, old, pe old people that are following me, people that are commenting, people that are liking on my stuff. This is how I actually connect with those people and what I say. And I think for me, learning the language, the leadership language of influencing people, coaching people, helping people was the hardest part for me. I still am like, I don't really understand it all the time, but when you can get examples of exactly what to say, I think it's so important. So, um, I would love to get your feedback on, I want to put together a call to action power hour. It reminded me when you said that Christy, what are your favorite call to actions inviting to join your fitness journey? I'm totally stuck. This is where we all get stuck because we do this every day and we just, we get bored ourselves and we start to feel inauthentic when we start to repetitively say the same things over and over and over again, even though the person that we're saying it to has never heard it from us before. That's really what we have to remember. Like, this is the first time they're hearing this information from you, <laughs> you know? Um, so a call to action power hour, like, uh, 
uh, an, a new ultimate reach power hour, maybe of just being like, I love doing this with inviting specifically. Here's what I say when this comes up, here's what I say to get the conversation going. Here's how I keep it directly on track. Um, I used to, I used to call this my conversational power hour because I was just teaching people how to engage a conversation, keep a conversation, keep it on track, create a flow that you can use over and over and over again. For me, it's really more the structure of how you talk to people more than what you're actually saying that is going to help you as a leader to be more effective, be more efficient, feel more confident. And that's, um, I think something that people are needing right now is just examples of how to do that. What do you guys think? I get in trouble sometimes when I do these power hours because I talk too much. And whenever I talk too much, we always get this reminder of like, this is a work hour. This isn't a training hour, but people don't realize like, this is the stuff that actually is going to propel you forward because you can get a list of actionable items, right? Like someone can be like, I can give you a to-do list till I'm blue in the face. But if you're like, I have no freaking idea what to say or like, how do I actually apply myself to these tasks, right? Then like it's for nothing. And so for me, because that was such a difficult thing, learning this language and learning how to talk to people as someone that was super introverted as well, when I started coaching, that's really what propelled me forward and gave me the confidence to build the business that I envisioned. That's when I really started to realize like where I was different than other people is when I learned my leadership language and what I, where my gift is connecting with people. Um, even though at one point that really felt like my greatest weakness is connection. I've done a lot of work to get to the point where I am. So if I can help people expedite that process, then I would love to. So um, my next power hour is on, not next week, but the following week. I don't know what day that is. So I will work on um, a conversational power hour. If you aren't following my power hour Instagram page, it's just a private page. It's not public. I'm not trying to grow it. It's really just um, a great place for feedback for me, um, a way for you to ask questions. I post all my calls there that I invite people to. So if you want to follow that, I'm going to take a couple polls this week. Here's the um, tag. And if I can get feedback directly on where we're struggling with the conversation or what you need help with, like call to actions or like how to close the sale or how to, whatever it is, then it's so helpful in creating these power hours because I can customize them better to our needs. So um, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. If you have any specific questions, let me know. I'll post this up on my YouTube. Hopefully you got a few things done today and some conversations going. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.